Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. This is Vishal and you're watching the Nifty and the Bank Nifty short term. In my previous educational video, if you remember that I clearly stated, if you have a close above 22,550 and 22,600, especially in the early time frame chart, then there's a decent possibility that we could test 22,800 to even 22,850. Now we can clearly see that Nifty is trading above 22. 650 right now which is a clear sign that the breakout has taken place in today's trading session there was a little bit of blip and we could see the nifty futures down towards 22550 i was waiting that does it close below 22500 and does it signal a false breakout but nothing of that sort of thing did happen today so so far so good but in tomorrow's trading session i would like to see a clean clear breakout above today's high and if this happens it will be a good sign that the momentum is clearly continuing on the upside. With the RSI making a new high, it will be even a better uh, chart to see. Now, everything seems to be fine now, but we as traders need to understand that Lok Sabha election result is coming up very, very soon on the 4th of June. And we should not forget that in financial markets, in stock markets, Every event is important, but this particular event is probably the biggest of all. In history, we have seen upper circuits. In history, we have seen lower circuits. So we frankly don't know what is going to happen ahead in the next few days and maybe few weeks. So with a pinch of salt, we should understand that if you're taking any trading positions at your own and with your own analysis, please be very, very sure that your risk is pretty much limited. If you make less money, in the market it's fine but losing a lot of money is a very bad thing okay going ahead with the bank nifty i would say that if you just have a look at the daily time frame chart i can say the trend is flat there is no momentum whatsoever and especially this moment in rsi is clearly stating the same thing in the price you can see price is just moving up and down even over here rsi is just very very stable it's not trying to go up if you have a look in the early time frame chart i have this resistance band which i shared with you in my previous two to three videos which is from 48,165 to 48,570 and i have clearly stated that we need a breakout we need a close above 48,800 to even 48,900 if this thing happens then yes we will be able to see an up move in the bank nifty but you can see since so many days since almost 14th of may Bank Nifty has not been able to surpass this level. So this resistance level so far is working. Now moving ahead, the first stock which I would like to share with all of you is Sipla. And this is the daily time frame chart. In the daily time frame chart, first what we can see is there's a decent momentum. We can see two candles back to back, big green candles. Yes, I can understand that the shadow of this particular candle is a little bit unsettling but at times we cannot have a perfect candle overall it seems okay overall it seems fine and along with this particular positive candle we also have a trend line breakout in rsi along with this trend line breakout if just for a moment if i convert this particular candlestick chart into a line chart we can clearly see that we do have a lower low in price and we do have a higher low in RSI as well as we have a very strong positive divergence in the MACD histogram as well. So these two indicators are pretty much confirming the positive divergence between the price and the oscillators. All right. Now apart from that, what we can also see, I'll once again convert this chart into the candlestick chart, that this entire swing when it was, you know, uh, taken down on the downside, this particular level, especially this particular level, which is 1309 or 1310 in terms of round figures, the price has taken a very strong support over here. Now, this particular level, which is a 127.20% extension as a Fibonacci extension, generally out of 10 bounce backs, three to four bounce backs are going to be sharp and they are going to be pretty big in terms of size. Now, is this that one or not? Frankly, no one knows, but we can clearly see that this is a pretty decent breakout in the stock Sipla. And 
as a trader until and unless it doesn't close below possibly 1320 i guess the posi uh, the positive view will continue if at all the stock closes below 1320 then the positive view in the stock will be negative all right and please do analyze at your own end only then do something in this particular stock otherwise don't do anything the second stock which i would like to share with all of you is acc now in acc again in the daily time frame chart one thing which is very very clearly visible possibly even a starter in the technical analysis world will be able to tell you that at this particular juncture we have a series of supports and resistance why because at this zone which is a previous high price first bisected it on the downside when it retraced the same level the same high now became a support and it's now providing support to all the corrections which are coming up after that you can see so we can see consistent amount of support coming up at the zone of 2300 to 2320 three times it has been able to bounce back one more thing what is visible is the trend line breakout it's a very big trend line breakout but so far there is no momentum visible in the price we have only the trend line breakout visible in rsi and we also have a downside channel in acc so if we have possibly a very big green candle closing above 2620 or 2630 and if the momentum continues then we will be able to see upside continuing in the stock for a period of few weeks to possibly few months so i'm talking with a viewpoint of a position trader all right i'm talking with a viewpoint of position trader not a swing trader not a short term momentum trader okay now the third stock which i would like to share with you the daily time frame chart is a little bit distorted you'll even be surprised to possibly see that stock but i can see some positivity coming out of that chart now the stock is apollo hospital the first thing which clearly is visible in front of me that this entire stock when it was going up it corrected and this correction has ended at a 61.80% fibonacci extension and if you view this 61.80% Fibonacci retracement, I'm sorry, it is trading, the price is trading near a juncture, which is a very big candlestick cluster. Along with this candlestick cluster, if you go a little bit behind in the history, somewhere in August 2023 to July 2023, we have one another cluster. So these two clusters, if you add both of them, these two clusters, are giving a lot of support to this particular stock and due to this support the stock has bounced back as of now apart from this particular support we can also see a series of higher highs and higher lows okay but what we need as of now <laughs> apart from this trend line breakout which has already taken place what we need as of now is a pretty big green candle closing above at least 530 if this happens then this but stock apollo tires might see decent upside in next few weeks to next few months all right so again just before ending the video i would like to share that we are near a very very big event we don't know what's going to happen in the market neither i know okay and today i've shared three stocks actually i've shared the reason for these stocks to go up the technical reasons for the stocks to go up okay so if you wish to do anything in these stocks please put your own analysis put your own stop losses put your own targets and i have made this video to in order to help you learn how to analyze and find stocks which can go higher in next few weeks to next few months all right so trade less trade wisely and especially do not care or do not carry extremely over leveraged positions as the Lok Sabha election results are coming up very very soon take care guys